My name is Salwa Peterson and I want to tell you today about everything you ever wanted to know about shipping. So let's get started. Can Shibe be used for pregnant and nursing women? So in child pregnant and nursing women do use Shibe. It's not a contraindication. Uh, however, I would be really cautious if you are currently nursing or you are pregnant or both because uh, Shibe actually enters into the bloodstream when you touch it, when you apply it on your hair, even if you try to avoid your scalp, some of it is inevitably going to make it to your scalp. So it is going to, to enter your bloodstream, it is going to enter your breast milk, so it is going to get into your baby. So I would not recommend that you use Shebe if you're currently pregnant and or nursing. Next question, can men use Shebe? Of course, there is no contraindication. So just you know, uh, in child, men don't use shibby. It's definitely a woman thing. I mean, it's it's like really a womanly thing. Men, as far as I know, don't use shibby. So if you are a man from child or not from child and want to use shibby, there is absolutely no contraindication. You could use it for your hair or even for your beard. Why not? That shibby thing. Yes, it does stain. We're not just gonna say here. Um, it does stain, so what you have to do is to protect your hair with a sarin wrap, or you protect your, your towels, you protect your, your bedding, maybe some plastic, I don't know, something, but it does stain. And uh, if you wear scarves like I do, you would definitely going to, to stain it, or like a light shirt like this, there's no way you can wear it with uh, shebe on your hair and get away with it. I know lots of women actually who use shebe and put just a big turban on it and a sarin wrap under or a wig or something. Do women who use shebe wash their hair? Well, here I'm going to debunk some kind of nonsense that have been going on online about how women who use shave and never wash their hair. That's not true. We do wash our hair. We have actually a ritual for it. Uh, so once a month, um, after the end of a period, the menstrual period, we wash our hair with water. We go through it very, very thoroughly and make sure every last strand of hair has water. You just rinse it off and you have to rinse it off all the way from the top of your hairs or to your tools. That's what we do. It's very, very important and it's very important to do it very thoroughly. So some women use soap at that time, some don't, they just use water. And some women now use shampoo, some other, like myself, actually take advantage to do a deep conditioning for the hair and to go the extra mile. Also, the women who use shebe to wash their hair, even in chat, even if it's just using water. Another really interesting ritual that we have is to use oil. I find it actually really genius because oil actually Chases oil, so this is great. So that means that um, when you use an excessive amount of oil and apply it on your hair and soak it before shampooing it, actually, I find that it takes off all residues, including shaving. So it can leave you with fairly greasy hair, but it's really, really great to remove everything in your hair. It's like a massive makeup removing thing, you know, like. When you use makeup, I use oil to remove makeup and it's the same with using oil and hair to remove buildup. How do you adapt the use of shebe to modern life? And that's a great question because um, in Chad, I mean, in Northern Chad where I'm from, if you have shebe in your hair, um, you just go around. It's just normal, just like, you know, in Western cultures that you just wear lipstick and go around that can stain, it's fine, it can stain, but you cannot really, if you have an office job or something, you cannot wear shibby and go around. So one way is to rinse it off. That's what a lot of my cousins do. One of them have a really high-flying job within Jamena. Jamena is the capital city of Chad and she applies a shibby once a week uh, and she just let it stay for a couple of hours and she rinses it off. And she has been doing it for a while and she's very happy and satisfied with it. So that would be one way to do it. 
There are also um, plenty of other ways that I have seen people doing is you could, for example, infuse a powder into an oil and just use the oil or you could um, take it and uh, make it into a paste or something. So if you're one of those people and have done something out of it, let us know in the comments so more people can benefit from it. And if you guys are really interested in uh, what you could do with a powder, I'll be more than happy to do a video showing some of the things you could do with a powder. Yeah? Okay. Can you use Sheve if you wear dreadlocks? That's a really good question. Um, I wouldn't advise it because uh, the powder can really get tangled into your hair. Uh, when you have dreadlocks. So I personally don't have dreadlocks. My hair is natural and when I apply shiver to my hair I really notice that it's not that easy to get it out when you wash it. So my hunch would be that with dreadlocks it will be harder. So if you have dreadlocks and you have dried or you are keen to try, I would really, love to hear from you. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to link up with you. Can you use shiver with relaxed or texturized hair or otherwise chemically straightened hair? Yes, I have a cousin of mine who has, uh, you know, relaxed hair and she uses shiver without any side effects. So you can definitely use it. I have read online of some other people who also use shiver with their hair and they are perfectly happy with their relaxed hair, there was no side effect. So, and obviously if you have experience with it, I'll be very curious to hear from you as well. Does shiver change the texture of your hair? No, shiver does not change the texture of your hair. Actually, the mix of a powder, the oil, the cream, the water, really waste on the hair. And um, same also for the braids that women usually do when they apply shiver. They really put a weight and you feel that the texture of your hair has changed. But actually the texture of your hair has not changed. It's just a feeling because as soon as you wash your hair, it just reverts back to its original texture, whatever it was, you know, 3B, 4A, 4C, whatever your hair type was, it will just return back to it. Can you use Shebe if you have colored hair? I have not heard of anybody who had colored hair who have used Shebe. I'm talking here about chemically colored hair because if you use henna, that's definitely not a problem. You can use Shebe together with henna, it's not a big deal. But if you have chemically colored hair, uh, my guess would be you will be fine, but I would still make a test, a small test to make sure that, you know, that the color doesn't bleed or there is no weird chemical reaction where your hair turns all of a sudden green or something. So I would totally have a look and yeah, to make sure that uh, there is no weird reaction, but it should be okay. My hunch, that's my hunch. Should I use any precaution while using Shebe? Shebe is 100% natural but that doesn't make it 100% safe so i'll be really careful while using shiver at first especially if you have never been exposed to it i will do a test here so i put here if this is a good place to do is a patch test to make sure and observe it for 48 hours to see if there is no reaction then you should be safe to use shiver so now last question 33 the one million dollar question. Where do I get Shebe? I have seen uh, since um, my blog post and around that time a lot of people have started to sell all kinds of uh, powders online. Some of them have stolen text from my website, other even using pictures, information and selling their powders without any credit to me. Uh, and. Um, but I don't know any of those people and uh, I, I see you, yeah, I see you coming now again and stealing more information from me and uh, stealing uh, images from my video. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't recommend any of those people because I don't know them. I don't know, I cannot vouch for the quality of what they're selling. 
But if you're really interested in trying the original shaver powder, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to organize a new giveaway. Uh, this time I have a lot more than just a small quantities. As you can see here, I have got a lot of shaver and I have a lot more. So let me know and I will be more than happy to organize a giveaway. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, thumbs up, share and subscribe and also link up with me on the other platform on social media. Uh, leave me a comment, join my newsletter um, from my website and uh, yeah and don't forget to let me know if you want me to host a giveaway so then take care and talk to you soon bye